Hi, my name is Anke Reinschüssel and I'm happy to give you a brief insight into our work a study on the size of tangible organ-shaped controllers for exploring medical data in VR. This work is a joint effort by a team from the Digital Media Lab of the University of Bremen, the University Hospital of Visceral Surgery in Oldenburg, the ZIP GmbH and the Fraunhofer Institute for Digital Medicine, Mavis. Let's start why medical data are important. The ability to imagine the 3D situation can decide between a palliative or a curative approach for the patient, as our head visceral surgeon once said. This means basically a decision between life and death for the particular patient. Keeping the quote in mind, it is really important to understand the spatial relationships within an organ. One way to support the understanding is by providing virtual 3D models as a form of 3D visualization. In our work, we focus on livers. Therefore, you can see the four 3D models of livers here, which we used in our research. They were presented using VR. But the visual representation is not everything. Research on anatomy learning showed that experiencing anatomy hands-on increases the learning outcome. But also interacting with tangibles, so having something to touch and hold, is faster and more intuitive. As 3D printing already found its way into medicine, we will explore the use of tangible with VR as shown in the picture. In previous tangible research, the size was rarely the research focus, and if so, the objects were not particularly large. If you think about the liver, this is a quite a big organ. It spans a transversal size up to 25 cm or 9.8 inch, and expands up to 18 cm or 7 inch on the lateral side. Therefore, we investigated in a user study if a tangible controller needs to replicate the original size or if a smaller size is a valid substitution. This resulted in four conditions, with a baseline condition of a wife tracker, a 50% model, a 75% model and a 100% model. All models were 3D printed. In the user study, we gave the models and the tracker to surgeons wearing VR glasses and instructed them to explore the given virtual 3D models of livers. To enforce interaction, we asked them specific medical questions about the virtual model at hand, but did not evaluate the answers as they highly depend on prior knowledge. We can see the interaction with the 3D printed model is quite natural. We had 14 participants in our user study. 11 of them were experienced surgeons and 3 were medical interns. Using a within-subject design, all participants were confronted with all physical and virtual models and had to fill in another TLX questionnaire and a Whitman Singer presence questionnaire after each round. A short interview was conducted at the end of the study. The quantitative results regarding size were not significant, but the interviews revealed a strong preference for the 75% size model. Some participants even mistook it for the 100% model and did not perceive the size mismatch to the virtual model, which was scaled at 100%. Based on our results, we can recommend a high similarity of the physical and the virtual object regarding shape, as the wife tracker was rejected by the participants. Furthermore, when designing systems with large tangibles, a focus should be placed on good manageability of the physical object depending on the task. Generally, our participants saw the benefit in using an organ-shaped tangible to interact with medical data. Thank you for watching.